watching Apple Tech Beast. This is Apple Tech Beast with an update on GTA 5. Now, I don't do many updates on games, but the ones I do do tend to be on GTA 5 if you've been subscribed for long enough. And I do realize I haven't uploaded um, since the unboxing of my OnePlus 2, so I do apologize for that, but the review of that will be coming pretty soon. Also, the review of a parrot rolling spider will also be coming soon, so I'm not going to be... I haven't stopped doing videos, as I've said in the previous update videos, but... Um, anyway, let's just get on to this GTA 5 update video. Now, uh, Rockstar released information on a Lowriders DLC uh, that basically allows you to modify cars like you've never been able to before in GTA 5. But basically, as you can see from the screenshots I'm showing now, you can do interior customization to uh, Lowrider cars, possibly sort of muscle cars. I'm not quite sure on which cars are included in this update uh, which ones you can actually modify but uh, you can do absolutely tons of stuff to the interior uh, so you'll be able to see that you can change the steering wheel uh, you can have like a little ornament sort of thing on the dashboard I don't know what you call them there is a name for it but I've forgotten now you can change absolutely everything to match the exterior color of your car and the style of the, your car the, the style you're aiming for you can also have custom paint jobs so you can have really 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 cool decals on the side of them as you can probably see in some of these uh, screenshots I'm not sure they haven't released any information on how any how much any of this is going to cost or how much customization you're actually going to be able to uh, have with the paint decals and that sort of thing. But we know that there is going to be a separate kind of uh, mod shop within GTA 5. So some other really cool features that are going to be added in this DLC update sort of thing are hydraulics on those cars um, that I've mentioned. And that allows you to press a button and your car will do a wheelie endo sort of jump in the air sort of thing. Um, you'll probably be able to see that on some of the screenshots I'm showing you now as well. It is just really cool. I, I mentioned somewhere in the description of the update that you'll be able to hear um, other people's music. You'll be able to blast out your music for all to here I think it says so that could mean that it you can have sort of better sound systems in your car and that means you'd be able to hear the music from a, a long way away across parts of the map which will be really really cool you'd be able to have car meets like proper car meets this time with that information they also say that you can sort of uh, you can go into the interaction menu and you can open the hood and the boot and all of the doors of your cars um, just from the interaction menu without having to do it manually or shooting them off um, with guns and that sort of thing so hopefully this update will allow you to do a lot more, have a lot more freedom when it comes to cars and car meets and that sort of thing within GTA 5. Also, two more guns, I think. No, there's one more gun. It's a machine pistol, I think it's called. Uh, there's a machete as well that's been added into the game, which should be incredibly OP and uh, brutal, which will be brilliant. And I think that's just about it. But I just thought I'd sort of update you on what was going on in GTA 5 because I did say in one of my other videos it, that GTA 5 was sort of dying and that it wasn't. Um, very entertaining anymore, they weren't adding anything new, but I think they're pulling it back because this update looks very, very cool. Also, this update is only available for PC, PS4 and Xbox One, uh, so I am sorry if you were on last gen, but it's just what's going to happen from now on. And it was also available on the 20th of October, so only in a couple of days' time. That was all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like. If you didn't, then dislike it. And comment on your opinion on this video, uh, GTA 5, and my channel in general. As I've said, the OnePlus 2 review will be coming soon, uh, along with the Parrot Rolling Spider review. Please stay tuned for those uh, next videos. Uh, I will possibly upload some gameplay video of the next DLC update on uh, GTA 5, the Lowriders update, but uh, we'll have to see about that. But yeah... Thank you, for, thank you for watching this video. I can't speak because I haven't done a video for so long. Um, and uh, goodbye.